Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and I'm excited to show you the WooCommerce add-on for WPL Import. The WooCommerce add-on makes it really easy to import products from any XML or CSV file to WooCommerce. Here I have a blank WordPress install with WooCommerce installed, and no products yet. Now let's import them with WPL Import. Go to New Import, choose our file. There are 210 products in this file. We'll set our post title to the product name field and our post content to the long description. Continue to the next step. And here is the WooCommerce add-on. Just click the WooCommerce products tab. And now it looks just like WooCommerce right here. We can drag and drop our fields from our XML to any of these boxes. So I'm going to choose a variable product since we're going to import variable products. And choosing variable product makes the variations tab show, show up right there. There it is. Let's put the SKU number in the appropriate field. Put retail price in the regular price field. Sale price in the sale price field. And we don't need to set any of the options on this page, or this page, or here, or here. But we do need to set up the variation import. Now variations, we're going to choose variation as a child element because the variants are child XML elements of our records. We'll put the XPath for the variant in the variations XPath box. And now it's detected 10 variations. So let's put the SKU in the SKU box. Retail price, sale price, and our attributes. We have one attribute for size and another for color. And we're now done setting up our WooCommerce add-on options. Let's just check to make sure. Yes, we set up everything we needed to. Now we're going to set WPL import to auto-create product categories. We're going to set the parent category to footwear or the category, for this record it's footwear. Then we're going to add another category, and we're going to drag it to the right to make it a child category. So now the subcategory, which is outdoor, is going to be a child category of parent. And now we're going to make product group a child category of that subcategory, like this. And now we are going to set WPL import to import our images to the to the product gallery. Now we're going to choose the if no images are downloaded successfully, create entry as draft. That way in case any of the image URLs in our feed are broken, it won't create products with broken images on our site. Now we're going to set WPL import to match records. That's a fancy way of saying check for duplicates based on something unique. So rather than use the product name, we're going to use the SKU. And that's it. Let's hit finish and WPL import is going to create our posts. Now we're importing 210 products, which means we're downloading 210 images. So this is going to take a little while. So I'm just going to speed up the video now and come back when it's done. Okay, it's been three minutes and the import is now complete. Let's take a look at some of the created posts. It's imported everything correctly. It's imported our variations, our variation prices, our attributes with all their possible values. It's auto created our category tree and it's placed the product in the appropriate categories. Let's take a look at the product. Here it is. You can choose our size, our color, Add to cart. Let's go to the shop and see all of the imported products. 
That is how easy it is to use the WooCommerce add-on for WPL import. And you can use all of the normal, standard, powerful features of WPL import, like cron-based scheduled recurring imports, automatic updates, and much more. So if you like what you see, click the Get It Now link and get the WooCommerce add-on today. Again, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you for watching.